Your starting point on discovering any part of Western Australia has to be right here. This is the capital city, Perth. It is an absolutely stunning city and widely considered now as one of the hippest, most happening cities on the planet. There's so much going on here and it is the perfect place to launch your discovery of WA. The transformation of the city really began at the vibrant waterfront precinct known as Elizabeth Quay, which officially opened in 2016 and is continually evolving with top-notch eateries like the Isle of Voyage and activity areas opening up to the public to enjoy. The changes here really are quite incredible. It remains the embarkation point for getting on a cruise boat and going up and down the river, checking out a city, or even jumping on a float plane and checking out the city from a whole different perspective. Architecture, well, there's buildings going up, but of course the existing bell tower is still one of the most iconic structures you'll find in all of Perth. And then there's our 50,000 plus year old Aboriginal culture. You can take the Go Cultural Tour. It's an indigenous tour teaches you more about this ancient culture that still exists right here on the edge of the river. Another walking tour that helps you explore the greater city area, showcasing the in places to see, is the award-winning Two Feet and a Heartbeat walking tour, which walks you through Perth's ongoing renaissance. Ryan, I can't believe that this has all happened. You know, King Square finally connects North Bridge and of course the city. After 100 years, it's all one again. Yeah, it's an amazing development. Uh, since the 1880s, when the train line went first through this area here, yeah. Northbridge and the city have been separate. But because of this development, everything's now joined back together, filled with bars, restaurants, and new developments. Of course. In March of this year, Yagan Square will open up, which will anchor the eastern end of the development here yeah. uh, and connect through with all the public transport that's in this area. No wonder world-leading travel media like Condé Neste and CNN are placing Perth as the place in Australia to visit this year. There's so much happening, and Ryan's got my attention again. A pub, we have lots of them here, really good ones. This is Petition, the corner bar. There's a casual restaurant next door, but it's only just part of the overall complex, right? Yeah, that's right. As part of the restoration works that took place here, about $100 million was invested in the upkeep of the building here to bring it back to its former glory. And there are tons of bars and restaurants in here. It's kind of got a few accolades in the last 12 months as well, hasn't it? It does, both on the dining and the accommodation front. So yeah. on the roof of the building here, we've got Wildflower, which was voted in the top three restaurants in Australia. Wow. And the Como Hotel inside the buildings here was voted as the number two hotel in the world by Condé Nast Traveller. The city's come alive with a vibrant art scene. The street art is world class and you get to see the best as you stroll on the tour. And Ryan shares some tips and secrets for the best places for coffee, a beer, or a meal as you go. Well, that's a very brief two feet and a heartbeat guide to Perth. There is so much to see and do in this great city. And if you are a local, thinking about a staycation, here's a bit of advice. In fact, if you're coming from the East Coast, or maybe you're one of those lucky people flying in from London with the new direct flights with Qantas, think about taking three days to discover this city. And then you can head out. You can do things like 45 minutes south of Perth in Rockingham, you can swim with wild dolphins. 25 minutes from Fremantle, that way you can enjoy a beautiful island paradise, Rottnest Island, or if maybe the beach isn't your thing, why don't you head inland? 25 minutes from the heart of Perth is Australia's oldest wine region, the Swan Valley. There's so much to see and do. Make sure you take some time to explore.